Let's talk Oregon recruiting. Ducks win 34-13 in a dominant win over UCLA, and the Ducks are looking to add another quarterback. That's what we're here to talk about. Steve, what are you hearing on who they'd like to pair with Achilles Smith Jr. in this 2025 class? Well, they extended a new scholarship offer at the position last week. Cal quarterback commit Jerron Key Sagapolotele. He is from Hawaii. Uh, he was an Elite 11 finalist. He's six foot two, 215 pounds, physically ready to step into any college quarterback room from that aspect and, and, and push the room. Oregon has absolutely crushed quarterback recruiting from a transfer portal sense, right? They go out and they land Bo Nix, who ends up leading them uh, on the verge of the college football playoff twice. They would have gotten in under the current landscape of college football with 12 teams. And then he's a first round draft pick. And then you got Dylan Gabriel, who was a top five passer in college football last year that Oklahoma just let walk out of their program in favor of some younger guys. And then they got Dante Moore, who's lying in the weeds, a former UCLA commit that uh, at one point was also committed to Oregon. You figure yeah. he is the quarterback of the future after Dylan Gabriel. When you get past Dante Moore, Dan Lanning, Will Stein and company, they don't want to be portal reliant at the quarterback position. And how fortunate are they that they got Dante Moore, who's got so many years of eligibility left out of the portal, a talented guy that just wasn't happy at his previous stop. And there was a coaching change. They're able to, uh, you know, mend that relationship from him mm -hmm. committing and then flipping getting them back, but they want the high school recipe. You got Austin Novosad in the program from Texas. They flipped him from Baylor after Dante Moore flipped on them. Uh, they got Achilles Smith Jr. committed right now, but they want two high school quarterbacks. That's always been the plan. Bear Bachmeyer was a target. Hussan Longstreet was a target. Those guys are committed to Stanford and Texas A&M respectively. Jerron's having a great senior year. Anytime I'm in this group text with Charles Power and Cody Belair, when we're talking scouting and rankings at on three, Jerron and his play always comes up. And uh, Oregon's the first major program to offer him after the type of season that he's having right now. And he called it a great opportunity. He says they produce great talent every year. They produce NFL products every year. And the offense is great as well. He's got to talk to his circle of trust about a potential visit. But anytime Oregon offers a, a, a kid of this caliber from Hawaii with just all the connections that they have to the state, the Marcus Mariotas of the world and everything like that, uh, you certainly view them as a threat. And Cal got them in the fold in the summer, but now they got a battle to keep them. And as Oregon pushes for a top five class, this is a court, another quarterback they'd like to build around. Yeah. Speaking of flips, last week, right after we taped the show, Oregon flipped Douglas Utu, offensive lineman committed to Tennessee. Uh, so speaking of, what's the biggest need still left to fill for Oregon? And, and like you said, what do they need to finish top five this year? Well, they're losing six of their seven top offensive linemen following the season. They have a good offensive line class, guys that they think could play right away, including Douglas Utu. You would imagine they'll look in the portal a little bit. But Zach Stoskowski from Portland is committed to Washington. They'd still love to add him on the offensive line. Linebacker is a position of need for Oregon, too. Noah McHale committed to Texas A&M. Oregon still having dialogue. And Caleb Burns is an on 300 linebacker committed to Baylor that the Ducks recently went on. And then tight end, they don't have one this cycle, Josh. Mm -hmm. Vander Plug, Vander Plug's a guy we like a lot on 300 recruit from California, committed to Washington. They're still shooting their shot with Lincoln Cure. I think that's going to be tough. But Vander Plug's are, seems like that could have some realness to it. So they'd like to add him at tight end. Oregon, Miami, a lot of programs are swinging at USC, commit Hayden Lowe, uh, a defensive end, edge rusher. Can Oregon make a run at a second straight top five hall? Yeah. I mean, I think that they got the names out there. They got to keep what's in the fold right now and, and then land some of these other elite guys, flip some of these other elite guys we just talked about. All right. Oregon fans, talk to me. How do you guys want to see this class finish? Let us know who your top targets are. Comment section below.